hi guys welcome back to my new video and today in this video you will learn how to make a music website using html and css step by step on this website i have added this play icon if i click here it will play a music and it will also change the icon the play icon will become the pause icon again if i click on the pause icon it will pause the music and change the icon to the play icon we will learn to make this website design step by step using HTML, CSS and JavaScript in just 10 minutes. So before starting this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel Easy Tutorials if you are new on my channel. Now let's start this video. So here I have this folder and in this folder I have one index.html file and one style.css file. I have another folder called media and in this folder I have some images icon and logo you can see one mp3 file which is song that we will add on the website now we will come back and we will open the text editor which is brackets editor so this is the html file where i have added the basic html structures and this one is the css file where i have added margin padding and font family in the HTML file, I have added this link tag to connect the HTML file with the CSS file. Next, we will write the code in the body tag. So here we will create one div with the class name container. Now we will write the CSS for this class name. So just copy this one, write it here in the CSS file. Here we will add height and width. Then we will add background image. It will be URL and image file path. So it is in media folder slash the file name which is image.png. So this is the image. After that we will add background size and background position. And position it will be relative. After that come back to the folder and open this HTML file with the Google Chrome. So that you can see this image on complete web page. Next we have to create one navbar so just come back and here we will create one div with the class name navbar here we will add one logo so i am using img tag file path which is media slash logo dot png and one class name which is logo after that we will add some menu so i am using ul and li and a tag and the link text will be home simply duplicate it to create multiple links and we will change the text it is about a specifications the next one is products and last one is connect so we have logo and some menu you can see these logo and menu on the web page next we have to add css so we will come back and copy this class name navbar add it here in the css file for this one we will write width 88 percent and margin auto then we will add padding and display flex align item center and justify content will be space between you can see it is looking like this next we have to change the size of the logo so just copy the class name logo write it here in the css file and here we will add width 140 pixel and cursor pointer next we will write the css for the menu so here i am adding navbar ul and li list style will be none and display inline block then margin now you can see it looks like this Next we have to add code for the anchor tag. So just come back and copy this one, write A and here we will write text decoration none and color. We will change this color and let's add font size. It will be 15 pixel. So now it looks good. Next we will add content on this web page. So we will create two columns. So first we will create one div with the class name content and in this one we will create two other div so the first class name is left call let's duplicate it and change it to right call so we have two columns now in the first one we will write one text so i am using h1 text and the title is the real sound you can see this text on the web page let's copy the class name content write it here and here we will add width then position absolute and top 30% so you can see some space from the top 
next we will write the code for the left column so write it here left call then we will add margin from the left side it is six percent let's copy it then write h1 for the title and for this h1 we will set the font size and color line height and float it will be left so it is coming like this we will change the line so it will come in three lines so here we will add br to change the line and here also now you can see it is coming in three lines so it looks good next we will add content in the right column and in the right column we will add one title and one image so first we will write the title in p text it is click here to listen after that we will add one icon so i am using img tag and the file path which is media slash play dot png it is a play icon you can see this title and this icon on the web page next we have to align it so just copy the class name write call write it here in the css file and for this one we will write float write so it will come in the right side and we will add margin from the right side and margin from the top display will be flex align items center you can see these text and icon in the right side let's come back and copy this one then write p for this p we will change the font size it will be 18 pixel and we will change the color font weight will be 400 and let's add margin from the right side so it looks good now we will change the size of this icon so we will come back and here we will add one id so the id is icon let's come here in the css file right has icon and we will set the width it will be 80 pixel and cursor pointer now this icon size is perfect but right now if i click on this icon nothing will happen so we have to add click event on this icon and we will add one audio file so you can see this mp3 file in the folder so we will add this mp3 file on the web page so just come back in the html file and after this div we will add audio let's add one id so the id is my song then we will write source src and the file path so the file path is media slash song dot mp3 then we will write type it is audio slash mp3 so we have added this audio file on the html file but right now this audio file will be hidden from the web page you can see it is not there and it is not playing so we have to add some click button so just come back and here we will add one script and in this script we will add one variable so let's create one variable called my song then write document dot get element by id and we will add the same id that we have written here my song next we will create one more variable for icon let's copy this one and here we will add the id which is icon so we have two variables now we have to add on click on the icon so let's write icon dot on click equal to function so whatever codes we will write in this function that will be executed when we will click on the icon so here we will write my song dot play so after adding this let's come to the web page and see what happens if i click here it will play the song so the song is playing but right now the icon is not changing and we cannot pause the song so we have to add some conditions so let's come back in the html file and here let's remove it and first we will write one if condition here we will write if my song dot paused so if it is paused then it will make it play so my song dot play and it will also update the icon so let's add icon dot src equal to new file name so earlier it was media slash play dot png so it will be media slash pause dot png 
next we will write the else condition and in this else condition let's copy this two line and it will be pause and it will be play that's it so after adding this javascript we will again come back to the web page and you can see if i click on this play icon it will play the song in the background and icon has been changed it is pause icon and if i click on the pause icon it will pause the song and the icon has been changed to play so you can see this play and pause button is working perfectly so this is how you can create this type of website design using html css and javascript i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section and please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video